Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial and today I'll show you this type of logo design that means drawing two vector logo. So how to do that? Uh, at first you have to draw a logo which is uh, in a pen and pencil or pen and paper whatever it is your notebook it could be and after that uh, you can draw this one. So let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first I'm going to the file and taking new just taking an artboard which is 2000 pixel by 2000 pixel and giving the name eagle logo okay and here uh, before that check this one cmyk or rgb uh, cmyk for the printing purpose rgb for the web purpose in my case i'm taking the cmyk and hit the create button and after that going to the file and place options so uh, find this one that means uh, this one was the drawing and just making it bigger like that that's fine now just lock from here and double press that layer here is a dim image to here the 50 percent and hit ok that means it will be a little bit uh, opposite down than uh, the original opacity and it will help you out to drawing you after that uh, taking new layer upper side of this layer and then now you know, use the paint tool for this so here um, two or three things you have to just uh, know at first here if you don't know paint tool uh, basic options here the paint tool uh, the anchor point you can put on uh, in point and if you just drag it it will make the shape and press the return button uh, it will be uh, just uh, ended and before that here is the options the foreground and background color that means the stroke and fill color and upper side is a fill color and uh, the lower side is a stroke color if we make it like this you are getting the line like that so you can use any kind of uh, line color uh, here is the stroke options uh, I'm using the black portion or um, some of my um, just uh, student used um, the uh, aqua color for the proper visualization outside of this drawing the white area but we'll draw the white area at first then the upper side or you can do vice versa so at first i'm gonna press p from the keyboard for the pen tool and make it like this this is the first process you have to make it uh, the proper like this so here just here and draw this one properly when you are drawing this one by using the pen tool uh, by the way i have another course or another tutorial about the pen tool uh, if you are totally new in pen tool please uh, select or um, now watch that video which i made earlier for you guys so here uh, just drawing over there one thing is that uh, you have to be careful about the lines here so taking this one okay here are the curves so curvature you should be careful about the curvature just because of uh, those are the main thing uh, to draw or uh, just tracing in a sense we are tracing this one from the main image and uh, that is important so like this these curvatures are sensitive so be careful about that don't worry uh, there are another tool which is uh, help me out or help you out to make the curvature more properly so almost done okay now so here uh, this this portion we didn't get the proper curvature uh, select this one and after that here is the smooth tool just make it a little bit smooth it will be smooth and here as well so nice this one is the outline and i'll make the stroke thickness three or five it will help me out to like uh, recognize that now we'll draw the white portion for the things which is really important press p now again starting from here
so now we are done for that that means we got uh, all the stuffs so taking this one making it group and taking another artboard here uh, going to the artboard options and drawing another artboard the artboard size should be like uh, 2000 pixel here uh, not properly uh, round like that ungroup that and here is a smooth tool before that you have to select and go to the smooth tool and just make it round like that so select those area or smooth those area if you want press a if you need to change it out suppose i want to make more curve like that and nice this one i will make it fill making it into downside of the layer and then i'm going to the gradient and select the gradient select gradient like this this one and this one and make it 90 degree from here okay uh, but uh, i want to make the darker color in the downside so make it reverse so select these 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 and the other stuffs into white so making it like this at first and then making it white color okay this one as well that's fine so in this portion uh, i'll make the curvature press p and make the curvature like that so make it fill and give the color here that's it so it's making it more uh, proper to do that and taking an background layer the here background layer i'll take into middle of the alignment and making it black color that's good and you can make the interesting gradient from the previous so i made this one so i'm taking this one copy ctrl c and ctrl v and here okay ungroup that and i'll provide you the gradient uh, for your practice purpose select this one press i from the color picker and it could be like this and select all the white portion one thing is that i want to make it uh, a cut from this and uh, select these two things shift m for the shape builder tool press alter option button and delete that portion okay that's fine select all the white colors and make it little bit down the opacity so i'm taking the gradient uh, for your practice purpose and i'll provide you that gradient download link in my video description so you can make uh, the logo from the drawing easily by using this technique hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i'm ac when signing out today stay safe stay at home bye bye